Hand and I'm the founder of InstaBeat, which is a startup that does a heads-up display for swimmers to monitor their training. Cool. So what are you working with here? What's all this stuff? Um, so uh, the first day we went to the beach and we collected a few samples. So these are rocks we found on the beach. Those are shells. Uh, we had like leaves, uh, flowers that we picked uh, from the street. And the whole point was to put those under the microscope and to see what a small microscope can actually tell the difference between like what the naked eye can see and what the 400 magnification looks like. And the nice thing is that these are actually a $20 microscope that you can buy off of Amazon. So like any person can have this at home um, and play around with all of these things and the ultimate purpose was actually to be able to see uh, blood samples and to detect uh, normal blood from anemic blood from uh, leukemia uh, blood and so um, on the screen for example this is sand we picked up from the beach and as you can see you definitely wouldn't see this uh, on naked eye, just with your eyes so what are you guys building? So you are, sorry, which track are you? So this is the health track. Uh, and uh, the group from MIT is the camera culture. So uh, they try to, uh, if you want, democratize the microscope and use it in situations where you can directly assess and use it as a prevention rather than like act when it's already too late. Um, so the first day we were uh, learning about the microscope and how a portable microscope would work and what's the difference and the limitations between this and a lab microscope. And then uh, we brainstorm about how we could utili utilize this in order to solve the big health challenges in the Middle East. Uh, so for example, one thing we talked about is uh, on the health situation in the refugee camps, which is really, really bad. And by having a portable microscope and quickly analyzing the samples, there's lots that can be done in order to prevent uh, from the disease to spread out. Uh, so this is like one application and it's, it's a very big eye opener because these are things we don't think about and we think that this is only accessible to physicians and experts. And so so uh, part of our project was to actually build an ideal setup to visualize uh, the blood samples quickly. So uh, someone had uh, a juice bottle and uh, cut it in a way with diffusers and papers and stuff so that he's able to visualize this. And uh, another person worked on a image processing software where he can directly count the number of cells. And uh, I mean, this is to directly detect uh, whether the bl blood is healthy or not uh, without having the intervention of a physician. Amazing. So are you guys going to showcase this prototype later? Definitely. We're showcasing everything uh, during the presentation. Is there anything that you think you'll bring back to InstaBeat in terms of the way that the... What has the workshop given you? I think... Um, I think this workshop taught me a lot about how available technologies can be used in different situations and I think at InstaBeat we're too focused on swimmers but on one particular application but the fact is that this technology can be used for so many other health problems and I think as a next step we shouldn't limit ourselves to the sports um, market but we should definitely explore uh, what we can do for health. Great. Uh, what's been the most exciting element of the whole workshop? Um, I think the fact that um, IT faculty are here, and this is not something um, we have on a daily basis here in the Arab world, so this has been really exciting, getting to learn from them and their thought process, and only having like, uh, and I mean, team members that are from different uh, regions in the Arab world, and even though we're like one big region, but you have completely different cultures and way of thinking, so this has been really enriching. Awesome, thanks.